Hey there, Liberators! Umbreon here, bringing you part 8 of my Nino Kuni 2 playthrough. Um, now we're heading towards Goldpaw. So, yeah. Let's get this item. You know, that enemy is a little bit more of a. Hey, and then these guys here, so oh, wait, what level is that? I can't see it. <laughs> That's just wait, is that seventy two? I'm blind. <laughs> I do have to go through here though. Unless I can do it from here. Nope, I have to go through here. Alright then. Watch your back! Oh, okay, that's level 19. Not bad. So that's why they were jumpy. Hey, wait a minute, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. to go to here. Pork shopper. We dodged it. <laughs> Oi. Uh huh.
angels here. Tihihi. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, level 60 pork shopper. Oh, oh. Other item. Well, yeah. <clears throat> Come on! Collect an item. Oh, dang it. Oh wait, it was a surprise attack. Yay! Come on! All of a sudden, barely notice that your party member is a healer. <laughs> oh, the chest is locked. I was wondering why it never opened. Third. Oh, that's the reason why. <laughs> what? Watch your backs!
here? Yeah, it looked like if it was about to explode. <laughs> I was like, I'm not getting close Ready. to that. <laughs> Evan was like, oh, come on. <laughs> okay, how do I get over there then? Okay. Maybe through the other side? Okay. Oh look, it's following me. What? Here goes nothing. Dang it. Huh, it's You're not a surprise this. attack. Gopa was showy, but blimey. Mm -hmm. And it though. Beautiful, ain't it? <clears throat> I've got a feeling that I'm gonna like this place. Them their casinos make a fortune from all the easy marks that come flooding through the gates in their droves. 
and it all goes straight into the government's pocket. State owned, see? So the government runs the casinos, huh? Guess we better go find Punnakus. I'll find out. Yes, I'm sure if we ask nicely, he'll soon <clears throat> he'll soon see sense and let Niall have his sports back. Although I'm not exactly sure where to look for him. It'll be the big castle looking thingy up at the top of town there, won't it? That looks like where a grand high roller would live to me. Seems as good as a place to start as any. Let's head up there and see what we can see. stairs <laughs> I wonder. It sounds like a festival of some sort. You have come at the most auspicious time, friends. Today is the day in which Lady Lux Die decides those taxes for the month to come. Should she roll a one, she, we will pay no taxes at all. Really? None at all? Alas, for the last two months, she has rolled sixes. And what happens then? <sighs> the taxes increase sixfold. What? Joking, how's anyone meant to afford that? It is hard, young lady, but such are the vagaries of fortune, and without fortune, what is gold pop? Although I cannot say a one would not be welcome. Taxation based on a dice roll? Isn't that a little irresponsible? It is our way, and besides, it is not fun to trust all to fortune. Is it not fun to touch, trust all to fortune? To place one's fate on a single throw of the die? Even our criminal trials are held in this way. Guilt or innocence are decided by the judgment of the dice. What? Wow, that sounds risky. Indeed, but those blessed by fortune have nothing to fear. Hmm? Ah, 
Master Pungnasus is here. The ceremony is beginning. Really hope I find out his actual name. <laughs> What number will she roll? Low number one. Please be one. We can hardly bet him back. Lady of Fortune, may luck be on our side this month. That's definitely rigged. The taxes for the month will increase sixfold. Tighten your belts and trust to Lady Luck. Fellow citizens of Gopal, all will be well. Another six? And I was certain that our luck had turned. Oh well, all is as the mistress of fortune wills it. That's definitely rigged. So that was Master Punicus. I hope I find out how to pronounce his name. <laughs> Yeah, and if what the kid said was true, he's been rolling nothing but sixes up these past three months. Oh, flippin' heck! Well, that's not right, is it? The whole thing must be rigged. Listen here. We'll not get far making such accusations without proof, girly. We best go see the man himself. He's in the big building, right? The Grand High Rollers Hall. Only those with business may enter. Naya sent us. We have urgent business with the Grand High Roller. Master Punicus is occupied. He will see no one. But, but, but it's important. No one. Say. How about we play you for the chance to see him? Put the decision in the hands of the Mistress of Fortune. A game of dice? Very well. If you win, you will have your audience. If you lose, you will pay me. I think we could accept those terms. Excellent. I will make ready. Gather together what money you would wager and speak with me again. Are you ready? The stake will be 1,000 guilders. You may pay afterwards if you prefer. Of course. Shall we begin? Yes. Hmm. Excellent. We shall play a round of red and black. The game uses three dice. I will throw two of the dice and you will confirm the numbers roll. You will then decide whether the roll of the third die will bring the total of all three to eleven or more, or if it will be less. If you believe it will be eleven or more, you will call red, if less, black. However, when three ones are rolled or three sixes, Red and black will be turned on their heads. By this we mean that despite the total of three, 
our three ones will count as red. And despite the total of 18, our three sixes will count as black. Are you happy that you understand these rules? Three sixes will count as black. I understand. They seem fair enough. Slightly in our favor, if anything. Well, no. That's a fine set of dice there, matey. They'll be worth a pretty penny. I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> I will thank you to keep your filthy hands away from them. These are sacred items, entrusted only to the highest ranking servants of the realm. Now, let us begin. I shall start by rolling the first two dice. Hmm. A six and a one. Total of seven. Well, do you call red or black? That's right. Very well. Red, very well. Then the four hires rolled with the remaining die, you will win. Let the final die decide. It is rigged. The total is eight. Black is victorious. I win. My colon uh, condolences, young man. Um, may you consider playing another round? Certainly, I am a man of Gopal. Your debt will increase, of course. Are you happy to proceed nonetheless? Hey! What are you doing, Evan? Go on, my son! We could do it. Thresh this beggar. Um, I will start rolling the first two dice. Hmm. Does it matter what I choose? But I saw it keep on turning. Yeah. Oh, gutted. But you getting the hang of it, laddie, that much is plain. Well, have you had enough? If you wish to continue, your debt with your debt will increase still further. Yeah, definitely just one more. Yeah. To 
two sixes. I thought so. It's Rignas, uh, Very well. Yeah, only six. Doesn't matter what I answer. Black, very well. Then if a six is rolled with the remaining die, red and black will be turned in on their heads and you will win. The final die decide. <laughs> Total is 13, red is victorious. Ha! I win again. Don't give up now lad, you almost had the curve. I'll do it this time. Oh, come on! Seriously Evan, are you a complete numbskull? Give up! But, but... What? But I'm doing so well! Three losses, how unfortunate. Now if you would be so kind as to hand over the 10 million guilders. Snakes alive! 10 million? You doggy! It was only a thousand a minute ago! <laughs> I warned you, did I not? Twice, in fact, as you continue to lose, your debt grows. After each loss, it increases 100 fold. 1,000 rises to 100,000. 100,000 rises to 10 million. You mentioned the debt, but not the amount. I wouldn't exactly call that informed consent. Oh my! We don't have anywhere near that much. Very well. Very well, you seem trustworthy. I will allow you to delay the payment of your debt. Huh? Ah! Oh! 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 Do not be alarmed. The creature will leave you when your debt is paid. to do we're now closer to meeting master pungus and now we're 10 million guilders in debt to that awful man you owe me you owe me <laughs> oh flipping heck ah oh, shut up you stupid bird Core half the flipping town must be in debt if all these birds are anything to go by. So about that dice game, I couldn't help noticing something fishy about how the third die was moving. You spotted it too? I was thinking exactly the same thing. Hmm? Really? <laughs> I was so lost in the game there, it slipped me notice. I have to say... Hmm. It wouldn't surprise me if there were more to that die than meets the eye. The swab said they was special dice, only for big wigs or some such, did he not? If we could get our hands on one, we might be able to find some proof that he was cheating. Why don't we go take a look at the casino? The government runs it, right? So it will be full of government employees and dice. Motion seconded. Um, thirded. Well, all right then. Seems we've got a plan. You owe me! You owe me! <laughs> uh, the you owe me bird. Oh, wait a minute, yeah.
My humblest apologies, sir. The house kindly asks that those who are <clears throat> troubled by debt refrain from pay. Plain. Oh. oh, I see, of course. He's with me. I won't let him play any of the games. He'll just be watching. Is that alright with you? By all means, we hope that you enjoy your visit. Alright. Alright, we're in. So, this is what the inside of a casino looked like. draw less attention if we split up. Let's spread out and see what we can see. to our burden with that. How unfortunate we are. You owe me! <laughs> uh, oh, okay, okay. It is not uncommon for visitors to our kingdom to loudly decree the casino as a den of trickery. <laughs> but this is a ridiculous assert. <clears throat> um, assert. We do. Do they not understand that it is owned and operated by the state? Surely they do not think the powers that we that be intervene to ensure that the dice always fall in their favor. Such behavior would be an affront to Lady Luck, our holiest of holies. If you ask me, such complaints are nothing more than the whining of sore losers. Hmm? You wish to know more about the dice use here at the casino? I could quite understand why you would. I suppose you have been wondering at the admiring glances bestowed upon the bearers of these auspicious items, yes? Alas, they are only granted to select servants of the realm. You will not find them on sale anywhere, I'm afraid. Not even I, as a citizen of this great nation, would be able to attain one. I would give up on any dreams of owing one if I were you. Owning one if I were you. What is the most remarkable quality of the casino, you ask? I suppose it is the corrupt shoes more than anything. They are all but impossible to outplay. No matter how good one's hand may seem, they always seem to find a way to turn the tables. They must be blessed with inexhaustible reserves of good fortune. But this is no reason to give up if I too pay regular <clears throat> Up it says to Lady Luck, the tide of fate will surely turn to my favor eventually. That should do it for now. I hope the others manage to find some helpful clues as well. Well now. Well, what do you know? The dice they use in here are the same as the ones our friend, the gatekeeper, had. And it seems they really are a little fishy. Aye. <laughs> or, I'd be the proof of that, lad. 
this place is as crooked as a wyvern's grin. Holy shoot, that thing is huge. <laughs> Money! No! <laughs> oh, come on! You didn't, did you? Oh, you did, you big wally. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Stand by and watch while there's fun to be had. That ain't me way, girly. Okay. And much did you lose exactly? How much did you lose exactly? If you'll excuse me a little pry. Oh, uh, mere pennies. Little feller mere pennies. <laughs> <sighs> right. Well, let's just forget about our friend the genius here for a moment, shall we? There's something I want to show you. I can't do it here, though. Shall we take this somewhere a little quieter? Sure. Sure. How about the lobby at the end? <laughs> welcome dearies welcome um would it be possible to borrow the lobby for a moment or two yes by all means my lovely by all means take all the time you need <laughs> Scullywag only went and swiped herself a dice. Huh? Huh? You mean you stole one? Puh, stole, borrowed, whatever helps you sleep at night. Anyway, I've got something very interesting to show you. Watch this. If I press the one, we get a one. And if I press the five, a five. <laughs> now two. Beginner's luck. Oh, she oh, well. beg us. Gosh. So that's it. Uh -huh. This is how they've been doing it, huh? <laughs> Discovery mutt blocking our path to Pungus had the self same dice, so he did. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and tell him this secret is out. No. He'll just deny it. Besides, it's better that he doesn't know we have it for now. I see. Where you're going, very crafty. It, I likes it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> tidy. Then Bob's your own girl, Wahi. Well, best plan in the flipping world, right? But, but. But will it really work? Huh. You know, it's a little risky, but I think it m just might. Tidy! 
that's that decided then leave it to your old pal lofty let's go and pay gary gateface a visit shall we yes we shall Come to repay your debt, I assume? You owe me! You owe me! No, I've... I've come to play another round. Very well. As you wish, but know that should you lose for a fourth time, your debt will grow still further. Oh, I'm not losing this time. I'll be counting on you. I'm counting on you, Lofty. So, which will it be? Um, red. <laughs> Time to put our little plan into action. Let us begin. Bugger. <laughs> oh, that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> what? What deception is this? You manipulated the dice. You must have. Really? Now, would we have done th how would we have done that exactly? It's yours and you rolled it. Or are you saying you had some nasty little trick up your sleeve and it didn't work? Hmm? Ridiculous. I uh, little trick. No, I girl, you have no proof. How dare you? Hmm? What is all this noise, hmm? Master Pugnicus. Hmm. Well, well, what exactly is going on here? You know better than to cause a scene so close to his immense private chambers. My bad. Master Pugnicus, how glad I am to meet you at last. We were sent here on urgent business by Niall. Yeah. Yeah, but your stupid gatekeeper here tricked us into owing him a fortune and he still won't let us in. Is this how Gopal treats its guests? Goodness! Forgive my foolish underling. If my good friend Niall sent you, it can be no trifling matter. That much should have been plain. You! And to resort to base deceit, an unforgivable transgression. Your depths will be annulled, of course.
But this is no place to talk. We will continue inside. This one, throw him in jail. Yes, master. Of course, Master Pugnicus. But no. that you return his forest to him. Hmm. <laughs> ah, but of course, he has sent you to beg for it on his behalf. And why would I simply return it? I won't... I want it from him in a game of chance. It was as fortune willed it. Was it? We couldn't help noticing how much cheating goes on in this supposed kingdom of shats. Hmm? What are you implying? It was on the dice roll of Lady Luck herself, that Niall Gamble. Huh? Our friend outside may have been capable of base trickery, but the Mistress of Fortune? I think not. So he wasn't even playing with their piffling casino dices? Hmm. No, the one we saw in the ceremony was much bigger. That doesn't mean someone couldn't have messed with it. You would accuse our most sacred symbol of trickery? It is a preposterous idea. But you are welcome to examine her if it will please you. But I warn you to proceed with the utmost care when doing so. The people of Godpaw will not take such an intrusion lightly. Thanks. Thanks. I think we'll take you up on that. Come on. These outsiders do not know their place. Yes, master. Indeed, Master Pug Nikus. We must be on our guard. Ah. Brother, I meant bother. <laughs> I really thought we were into something there. Ah. God, we're right back where we started. No. Not quite. I'm pretty sure if we look hard enough, we'll find something's not quite right with the Lady Luck. If you say so, let's go and have us a gander, shall we? Don't see many kingmakers doing this, eh? Why he? Um, have you found anything, Lofty? Nothing much, no, unless you count the biggest flippin' jumble of wards and charms and magic repelling doodads as I've ever seen in my life. Other than that, um, what's nice, all smooth and shiny, yeah, it's quality stuff, this. Hmm. So nothing's amiss at first glance, huh? I could see why he was happy for us to come take a look. Hmm. 
All those wards and things would mean that you couldn't influence the row using magic, wouldn't they? I guess so. What I'd really like to do is sneak a peek inside, but I get the feeling we wouldn't make ourselves too popular if we smashed the thing open. HOW DARE YOU! Seize this outrage at once! Lady Luck's sacred statue is no place for you to pet... for your pet to play. OI! Watch who you're calling a pet palio? Master Pudnicus gave us permission to look at the die and... And make sure there's a funny business going on. Hmm. Oh, is that so? Very well. Very well. The degree to which he ensures the Lady of Lux in impeachable integrity is admirable indeed. Sure is. I'll bet the statue must take some serious looking after, huh? And that die too. Oh, yes! Exactly, exactly. You are young, friend, but you understand much. Why only recently his, <clears throat> his immense came concerned at the decidedly worn condition of the die. He had always used and had it replaced <clears throat> with an entirely new one. And now expense was spared <clears throat> was spared in his making. He'd dispatch a <clears throat> delegation of our most highly respected craftsmen to the deepest part of the forest in search of the finest wood available. Uh huh. He did, huh? Now then. Ah, oh, but listen to me shattering on. I am sure you are busy enough already without me bothering you. Nice to meet you, young man. He met the forest of Niall, I suppose. Seems like he's going the might overboard sending all these craftsmen so far out of the way, don't it? Do you think it was them who stuck all those notice thingies to the trees? I don't know, but I think we should go back there and look around a bit more. Alright, let's head to the... F uh, let's head back to the forest of Nile and hunt for clues. Oh, 
Watch your backs!
Catch me. did have to go down. Boop. Oh, items. guys tree. Meh. I know I could have just teleported. Ugh. 
but it's like it's good to grind too, so... Yeah, grinding! Um... Well, that is it for part 8 of my Nino Kuni 2 playthrough. If you haven't already, like, comment your favorite part of the video, and subscribe for more video gaming content. Also, I have a TCG channel. Link for that will be down in the description below. Also, I have a Patreon for anyone who wants to donate a dollar per month to help out both my channels. Link will be down in the description below for that too. Well, that is it. Umbreon Liberator is signing out.